Hello, my name is Oat Cohen. I'm a doctor endocrinologist, a professor of endocrinology, and also serve as the director of medical affairs for Medtronic Diabetes in Europe, Middle East, and Africa. And it's a pleasure for me to introduce to you the new Minimed 780G Advanced Hybrid Closed Loop System. And I would like also to address this in a way that it'll make us realize how it can change a bit the daily life of someone with type 1 diabetes. Because the challenges of type 1 diabetes are enormous, are enormous. One of the major issues with type 1 diabetes is not the lack of insulin or the injection of insulin. You probably, and most of those who treat you know and understand that the main issue is the loss of spontaneity. That's doing whatever you want to do, whenever you want to do, and however you want to do this. This is something that is lacking with every therapy we provide to those with type 1 diabetes. And you know that you are challenged day by day by providing the right amount of insulin to the right amount of food that you're eating. You need to address how much food or how much to decrease the insulin when you do exercise so you won't be either going too high or too low. And then how much to inject insulin before going to bed. So in the morning, the control will be well and you're all going to be feel well, feel well again. And of course, the fear of hypoglycemia, which always tends people with type 1 diabetes to inject a bit less than they actually think they should have injected in, in the first place just for the security. So day by day, people with type 1 diabetes are confronted with challenges over challenges in things that people who do not have diabetes do not even think about this even in a minute. It's the lack of spontaneity that is the main obstacle with type 1 diabetes. So how, how do we treat and how do people with type 1 diabetes take care of their diabetes? They try to match the demands of the day with the amount of insulin they inject. But who more than you know how frustrating it is that even if you do the same thing, the same day, the same amount of food, the same exercise, and you inject the same amount of insulin, day by day, it does not give the same, the same results. Very frustrating as every day seems to be different than the day before. So the challenges, how to make glucose less vari viable to get the right the correction bolus, and how to count carbohydrates are those challenges that we are trying to improve, trying to get to the optimal number, but keep on missing because why? The variability of the life. Every day is a different day. And we never know how to predict the day that is going to come. We know the past, but we're not sure that tomorrow be just the same as the day before. So what is the solution that we have today? So we have a general scheme or a, a general regimen of insulin, basal insulin, bolus insulin, carb counting, carb ratio, sensitivity index, that we're trying to play around with these factors and, 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 and administer the right amount of insulin. But at the end of the day, everybody understands that today's solution to get better control is based on two elements. One is monitoring, and the more monitoring, the better information and the better data you have. And the second part is acting upon these, this information, and that is injecting more times a day. So we're not surprised that more monitoring may be finger pricking and SMBGs, maybe flashing, more flashing, you can achieve better glycemic control. And we're not surprised 
But what is the what is the burden? A lot of load, a lot of load, because you know scanning is two seconds. But what to do with the information? That already takes time. You multiply this by 30, 40 times a day, that's a burden. That is time taken away from the people with type 1 diabetes. And on the other hand, is what you do with the information in acting on this information by giving injections. And we all know that the more injections a day, the better control is. So on the other hand, on one hand, a lot of monitoring. And on the other hand, a lot of injections a day. That's tough, that's tough. And that is something that requires somehow bringing it a bit automation in order to reduce this load on the people who treat their diabetes daily, day in and day out. So what is the technology bringing in? So, you know, in essence, what, what, what is the, 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 the 780G bringing to the table is that it can monitor 288 times a day without bothering the people with type 1 diabetes, uh, besides uh, two to three times a day to do a calibration. But you calibrate two to three times, you get 288 readings a day, day and night. So 288, nice number for data. On the other hand, what's the input? Small injections of the right amount of insulin based on the algorithm that is created by the data provided by the, by, by the continuous glucose monitoring. So 288 data points with 288 or even more injections a day, that already provides a tool that can now bring better control. But what is the most important part of the Minimed 780G is the mind or the algorithm that connects the monitoring and the injection. And here is how it answers those burdens that we have just discussed in the beginning. So first of all, how much to inject basal insulin or if you inject with a, with a pen, how much long acting insulin to inject a day? Now we already know and we discussed that every day is different. So the amount of insulin that can be injected might differ from day to day. But you don't know because you don't know what's going to be the day tomorrow. So the solution of the Minimed 780G is that there's no basal rate that's given before. The basal rate is decided or defined every five minutes according to the dynamic of the glycemia that is me measured continuously. So every five minutes, a pulse of small amount of insulin which takes into account the dynamic of the glucose is provided as the basal rate. And every day and every night, the patterns of the basal rate is different because every day is different. So what we called the uh, autobasal takes care of the variability of the requirement of the long acting insulin that happens every day. One problem solved. The second issue is then how to do the correction dose. You know that classically, when the blood glucose goes high, you look at how high the blood glucose is, how is the rate of change, if it's changing rapidly or going high, you need to give more insulin. If it's actually decreasing, you might even not give insulin at all. And you want also to know uh, how much exercise, what is the situation? So it's a guessing game. So you wait till the blood glucose is high and you give a bolus. We call it a guesstimate, more or less what you think you should get. And then you wait to see if it's okay, if it's not too little or too much, but you have nothing to do because you already delivered this amount of correction bolus. Now this is tough because that's not how the, 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 the real life or, the, or physiology works. The pancreas does not wait until the blood glucose is high and then gives a pulse. It actually starts very early once it's above the target and gives small boluses according to what is the dynamic of that glucose. Exactly what is the Minimed 780G trying to imitate. So the moment the blood glucose is above the target of 120 and the basal rate that we discussed before is, is getting to its maximum, but still not enough, the algorithm detects it and gives 
early small doses, small doses of insulin that are calculated to be just the right amount, not too much and not too little. Because if it's, not, if it's too much, it will not give it the next, the next bolus. If it's too little, it will correct then within, in five minutes. So every five minutes, the correction dose corrects itself. We call it correcting the corrective bolus that we did with injections. So these two elements, the auto bolus and the auto correction provides a nice physiological solution to the treatment of type one diabetes. Additional element is of course, is the target. With the Minimed 780G, the target that we are aiming is 100 milligrams per deciliter or 506 millimoles, which is physiological. So the target is lower and it's being adapted every five minutes according to the requirements of the person with diabetes. So how does it deal with the changing amounts of, of responses to meal? Now this is important because basal is done, the basal rate is done automatically and the correction is done automatically. But for meals, the device yet cannot guess when you're going to actually eat. So you really need to announce you're going to eat a meal in order to have a small pulse of insulin that will anticipate the increase in flux of glucose coming from the meals and stopping the flux of glucose coming for the liver. You need to announce it. But you, not, you do not need to be that accurate as we have requested the people with diabetes to bolus according to the meals. There was a lot of information given on how to count carbs in different meals, how to convert fat to carbs, protein to carbs, a lot of calculations that were, and we all knew that it was not accurate. Now it's okay not to be accurate because as long as a bolus is given pre-meal, before meal, it could be just before meal, five minutes, 10 minutes before meal, then the automation will carry over. That means if somehow it was, the amount of carbs was underestimated, the bolus was not big enough to overcome the meal, then the auto basal and the auto correction will take over and correct it. On the other hand, you know, people with diabetes sometimes are afraid of hypoglycemia, so they give too little and a bit too late. They don't have to worry because if they gave too little upfront, again, the autocorrection will take over. And if the, somehow the amount of insulin given was by mistake a bit higher, again, the fear of hypoglycemia should not be that overwhelming because the autocorrection and the auto basal will go to zero. It will compensate to the increase or the exaggerated amount of insulin that was given for a meal, quieting down and relieving some of the fears that people with diabetes have constantly, the fear of hypoglycemia. So if you look at the daily actions that someone with type one diabetes needs to go through a, just a regular day, you see the load. But when some of this, is being taken automatically away by the algorithm and by the automation, really the load is now restricted only to do the pre-meal boluses twice, three times a day, and to do the calibrations. The rest, you're not alone anymore. You have a smart algorithm that runs behind you and keeps an eye 288 times a day, which is not surprisingly, brings both safety and very efficient way to treat diabetes today. And this is a 
wonderful, wonderful message that we can provide people with type 1 diabetes that can really see a major change in the way they treat diabetes today. And I hope I was able to provide you some of the details on what's behind these automation, algorithm, big data, machine learning, at the end of the day, is a small helper for your daily routine. And with this, I would like to thank you all for joining me today. Thank you.